I could not imagine not going to Gateway. I could not imagine the faculty and staff being in my life. I could not imagine the friends that I have. Like I don't have a lot of encouraging people in my life and I never felt those things growing up as a child, especially in my teenage years, being out on my own at 14. But these people and those, the women that I'm surrounded around, they are amazing and I, I just couldn't imagine being there. Like I literally walked into the doors and I immediately felt family. I immediately felt staff that actually cared about me and what I was going through and how I was feeling and that's that's how I feel every day that I that I go into there. Like I have met amazing people that still know me, like teachers and professors that still will say, Angie, you're doing great, you know, you were amazing in class, keep up the good work. And it was just the fact that I was being encouraged and motivated that really kept me going because I've had a lot of breaking points. As you know, the last two weeks, I was like, oh no, I can't do this. I don't wanna do this. This is not, you know, I just, I just wanted to give up. But from the first day until yesterday and even this morning, I get motivated by Gateway staff. I get told that you can do it, that you can overcome. My dean of my department actually texted me this morning like, the president of Nicolay College just emailed Brian Albrecht and told him how powerful your speech was. Congratulations, Angie, you are amazing. <laughs> Who would have thought Angie would have been amazing? And that does something for me because I never thought I could be amazing. I never was told you were beautiful and you're amazing and you're smart. And to go somewhere where people don't even know you and you walk into the door and they tell you you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're smart, you can do this, you're a great mom and all these things. Why would you not want to go?